Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this isometric building. And if you're interested, please keep watching. At first, guys, we need to create isometric grid. And now you need to be sure that you turn on smart guides. It's very helpful for this tutorial. Okay, now let's start. We need to select the black color or any color in the stroke and select line. Hold shift and draw the straight line. Now selection tool, hold odd and make the copy. And the distance between them must be about 10 pixels. Ok, now press Ctrl D and make many copies. like this. Now select all lines like this and now properties here stroke 0 25 and here transparency 50. Now right click transform rotate 60 and copy. Again right click transform Reflect, Vertical, Copy. Ok guys, we are created isometric grid. Ok, select all lines, move them here, let's look, it's perfect. Now, let's make the grid bigger, like this. Ok, now let's group the lines, Ctrl G, select rectangle tool and create rectangle 1000 to 1000. Ok, move the rectangle here, it can be any color. Ok, and select all lines and rectangle and make leaping mask. Ok, our isometric grid is ready. Now let's lock it in the layers. Here it is. Lock it. Ok, and now let's start. Select green color and it, uh, need, it must be in the stroke. Select pen tool and let's draw. You need to draw straight to the lines. When you see the word intersect, it means that your new line and grid line intersected and you can add the point here. It's our smart guides. Ok, now let's continue to drawing, to draw. Here one more point. And here you see the word anchor, it means the lines intersected and you close the path. Ok guys, let's move on. Let's select a light brown and in the stroke, select again pen tool and draw here the shape like this. Ok, and stroke to fill. Now select dark brown. Ok, and again pen tool. Here you can draw with the fill like this. Ok. Now let's select red color, this one, and 
and pencil. The red color in the stroke and pencil. And let's start here uh, from this line. Okay, some the, I think here it's great. And let's up the line, hold shift to make it straight. Okay, and let's move here and now down. And now let's close the path. Okay, guys, if you have mistake, it's okay. Select direct selection tool and move the point what you need to the right place, like this. Okay, guys, now if your object is selected and you want to start from this point, you need to hold shift and now you can draw. Draw the line here. Now let's move up. Okay. And here. And close the path. Now let's draw the roof. We need to select uh, the this gray color in the stroke and pen tool. And let's start to draw here. Okay, and here one more point. Okay, and here one more. And let's close the path. Okay, now let's fix here. Let's move the points with direct selection tool like this and now it's great okay again pen tool and the same color and draw here the next lines I think it's pretty simple and funny. It's like Lego. <laughs> okay, and again the same color pencil and let's start to draw here. Don't forget about smart guides, they're our helper. Okay, if you make mistakes and you see it, you can always press Ctrl Z to undo the action. Okay, and always close the path. It's very important. Okay, and the last here. Okay, guys, now let's add the colors. Select this one, here gray, here light gray, here black. Let's here return the stroke to see other objects and select D. 
this one and select this color and here light one and here this dark one and here red now here dark red and here light red okay and here we can change stroke to fill okay the roof is ready now let's work here let's select let it be dark gray color in the stroke and draw the first window like this now the same color and pen tool and let's draw here new line like this new object and let's move here okay now let's add the colors here select the window okay and let's select here the great color um, this one and for this shape we need red color this one and for this one we need light red okay now select uh, the whole window now group it and copy and paste it okay pathfinder unite right click and send to back and uh, object path offset path here seven okay and select the color um this one okay now let's the add highlight to our window select the pen tool and we need here in the field white color okay and let's draw the triangle like this and here transparency uh, 50 okay now let's select the whole window and group it okay now uh, move the window a little here i think now um move maybe here well let's look let's copy and paste the window and move the second window here and now let's move the windows okay i think it's great now let's select this side and stroke to fill and select this one and stroke to fill okay and the grass the same now select this window right click transform reflect vertical copy and move the copy here okay let's select this side and stroke fill to stroke and the grass the same and let's move a little our window here okay now let's draw the door select some gray color in the stroke and pen tool and let's start to draw okay
and close the path. Okay, now select the door, stroke to fill, select the door, object path, offset path, and here 7. Select these two points with help of direct selection tool and move them up like this now a little down or the same with help of direct selection tool you can move the point to the place you need okay select this shape and uh, this color let's change the colors here ungroup the window select this shape and this color now ungroup the window and select ungroup and select for this gray color this dark color and for this light red this one and for this one this dark red select the door and select this dark gray okay now let's turn here fields to strokes and select this gray color in the stroke and pen tool and draw here the triangle like this okay now let's add here black color here this one and here stroke to fill okay uh, let's start to draw here with any color in the stroke okay close the path and now let's select um, the color here select this one okay now uh, let's select again pen tool and here and we need fill to stroke and draw here one more shape with any color in the stroke okay and now let's select this color and here stroke to fill and here the same stroke to fill i think now it's not bad now select uh, the pen tool and draw here uh, the shape like this for now with any color it will be the shadow of our house okay now select something uh, some light gray color as you like and opacity multiply and now you need to select uh, the grass and all these shapes like this and send them back right click and send to back okay now here unlock the layer with our isometric grid and send the same isometric grid to back okay and now again lock it now uh, let's here change field to stroke select um, pen tool and with any color and draw here the brick okay here change stroke to fill and here stroke to fill select the brick and here opacity multiply 
and here I think will be great um, 35% now select this brick copy and paste it and move in any place you like like this just copy and paste and move okay see, uh, let's here copy and paste it and now transform reflect vertical okay and select this color and here multiply and let it be here the same 35 move here now copy and paste again and here and one more it's better here I think 50 and again copy and paste and move here okay okay guys let's draw here sun shade I'm going to draw it here. Select rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this. Select the blue color, copy and paste the rectangle and make it smaller like this. Select this color, select it and move the shape here. Okay now select selection tool hold odd and make the copy okay now ctrl d okay now select all copies and align them okay now group them and select the blue rectangle and the shapes and align them okay now select this shape and copy and paste it and move here and make it thinner like this okay let's uh, select here this color and here this one now select uh, this shape now right click transform share and here minus 30 okay and move the shape here now select the shape and group it and now select uh, this shape and group the same select both shapes and horizontal horizontal align left okay now it's great now select the shape and group it and move here and let's turn it this way rotate it this way now here stroke fill to stroke and move the shape here make it a little smaller and let's move it up okay let's make it a little bigger okay and this shape and this one bring to front select this one and stroke to fill okay let's look now let's here transparency 70 select this brick and move down and here the same 70 and now one more moment here let's here change stroke to fill to stroke and move this shape here I think it will be better okay now again stroke to fill and here stroke to fill let's look 
Now let's make the layer with the grid unvisible. And voila guys, our isometric building is ready. Hope you had fun. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye guys. Mwah.